As you can see in the title of the video, I purchased a new home. And on top of that, I also got Simply Safe to sponsor the episode. Thank you, Simply Safe, for supporting my first home mod. <laughs> more importantly, for keeping me safe and secure in my new home. I'll show you more on Simply Safe here in a minute, but let's jump back to the video. I am currently sitting in the parking spot that started it all. Hi guys, uh, I'm Amelia. Three and a half years ago, I was sitting in this very parking spot telling you guys that I was gonna start vlogging. Here I am three and a half years later telling you that I bought my first home. God, that sounds so good to say. We are closing the chapter and opening up another. I've never really shown my apartment or where I live and that's more for safety reasons than anything. But now that I'm leaving, I feel like I can finally show you the apartment that I have been living in for the past nine years. I figured it was appropriate to film this intro with the G7X, the same camera I filmed my video three and a half years ago. Not the same camera. You guys know I had a bad problem with dropping this whenever I was working on cars. <laughs> and then I'll be switching to my A7 in a minute so you guys will have better quality, but I just wanted to throw it back to you A1 since day ones. There's so many times I thought I was going to be stuck here forever. I'm so blessed and so grateful that it has brought me to where I am today. I always had a roof over my head, although I wasn't always able to pay rent. I had a roof and I had running water. I joke, but but, you know, I'm very thankful for what I had. So here's my parking spot. Here is behind my car where I store all of my wheels, sunroof for an S14. I got an exhaust and a bunch of stuff back here. I've had Lamborghinis here, I've had R8s here, I've had C8s here, and it never fits. <laughs> now back to Simply Safe. Since being on my own and buying a home, one of the first mods I wanted to do was home security and monitoring. And I actually was the one who reached out to Simply Safe to see if they would be interested in sponsoring the episode. And as you guys can see, they said yes. So what exactly is Simply Safe? Simply Safe is a reliable and effective home security system that makes things super easy and very simple to install. You literally plug in the base station, set up a master pin on your keypad, and start sticking sensors around your home. And now I feel a lot safer safer and more secure. Simply Safe literally has everything, you guys. This is my kit. This is the one I ordered. From motion, entry, glass break, water, temperature, carbon monoxide, smoke detector, camera, I got the base station, and of course, my favorite features out of all of this is the super slick smart lock with the Simply Cam video doorbell. Now, when a bill collector shows up, I know not to open the door. Kidding, I obviously can't condone that. And of course, being the car person I am, I've got cameras on my cars at all time. Moving into this home, I definitely didn't feel safe without some form of security system, and that's why I reached out to Simply Safe. I'm so happy that they came on board in order to sponsor today's episode and also just keep your girl safe at home. Plus, I also have a lot of assets that I want to keep safe, such as my cars, my camera gear, my computers, my livelihood. No contracts, no BS, just simply safe home security. Every door has a entry sensor, so if I open it, it beeps. And the cool thing is, the monitoring center is 24 seven and will also notify the police if it's alerted to anything. Link in the description is below. Make sure you guys go to simplysafe.com forward slash Amelia. Again, that's simplysafe.com forward slash Amelia and take care of yourself, you guys. That's it. It's that simple and easy to install. And now let's get back to the video and I can show you this house. Thanks Subaru for providing the wheel stops for the doors. And here is my apartment, guys. You guys remember this is where I would always talk and have the piano behind me. I love on ramps as much as the next person, but when you're living next to them and everybody wants to drive up them, I've grown a completely different appreciation for them. <laughs> So here is my view, and I can count on my hand the amount of times I have opened this or the windows. I usually don't, because it is loud. Fireplace never actually worked, but it's for looks. I'm one of three apartment complexes out of like 400 who have one. The honest to God reason why I picked this apartment complex, it was the only driveway that my S14 could get up without having to air up. It's kind of crazy to see this place completely empty. I remember when I first moved in, I didn't have furniture. I had whatever I could fit in my 240. Sitting on the ground on the carpet, like being so overwhelmed and so scared. I didn't really learn this until after I'd been here a few years from taking acting classes. One of the things that really stuck with me was jump and the net will appear. 
earlier. And I think that goes more to saying, take the risk and take the chances and don't be afraid not to. Renting the shop that I rent now, I didn't think I was gonna be able to afford it. Purchasing the C8, that was a huge jump. The home is a big leap. I wish I didn't pack it, I could have showed it to you guys. I had a Chase Bank envelope because I didn't charge for the envelopes. And whenever I'd go to deposit some of my cash from tips, I would grab an envelope, so I always had something to write on. And I had a pencil, and on this envelope, every night I'd put Monday and I wrote what I made in tips. And Tuesday, I wrote what I made in tips. It was never enough to cover my rent every month. Food stamps definitely help. I tried taking people's headshots for a while. I tried hustling so much because I moved to pursue a dream. I would rather fail pursuing something that I love than fail because I, I didn't try. I never thought I was gonna get out of here. I was morbidly depressed. I contemplated moving home, but then I couldn't do that. It got darker before it got better, and, and I'm so glad that I stuck through it. I guess I'm just saying, you guys, hard work pays off. It may suck now, but it's not gonna suck later. Things will get better. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm still pursuing acting. That is my high-level goal of what I wanna do. I still wanna be working on cars and YouTubing and having a connection with you guys. I feel very blessed that I don't go into an audition room feeling desperate to pay my bills. I'm very thankful though that I get to do the projects and work on stuff that I enjoy doing, not things I feel like I need to in order to get by, which is an accomplishment on its own. And I know you guys are just dying to see the home already, and more importantly, the garage. Uh, so why don't I just go ahead and show you that. Let's get out of here. It's been real. So in terms of safety, I did highly contemplate whether or not I wanted to show you guys the house, but you've been along this journey with me, so I do want to show you my new home, but I'm sure you guys can respect and understand why I'm not going to show you the front of the house. Anywho, let's take a look. We have the first bedroom, which is going to be my office. I want to get a racing sim. I'm going to stick my sim over there. And then I got all my books here. So here's my living room. This is my kitchen dining area. I used to hike three flights of stairs to do my laundry. Now it is here. It's so cool. I have a coat closet, you guys. This room, I'm likely going to be renting out to a friend of mine. My goal here is to pay off the mortgage as fast as possible and as comfortably as possible. I'll still be able to invest my money into the business. So that's my decision here. I have a bathroom here. This is my kitchen, you guys. Having crushed ice is probably one of my highlights next to the garage. I love crushed ice. I have this huge, beautiful kitchen. I actually have gas, this is crazy. Now, let me show you the bedroom. This is my bedroom. We'll just do a quick walk through. I have a bathroom with two sinks. Those lights turn on when I walk in. What used to be a kitchen nook is now my walk-in closet. Now, the moment I know you guys wanna see, let me show you the garage. Yes, this is a three bedroom, two bath, and then two car garage outside. I have a gated driveway. I can now fit a bunch of cars back here, and I have my very first and own two car garage. <laughs> Comment below, would you guys like to see me completely renovate this garage? I'm gonna redo a lot of things. I wanna fix the cracks, I wanna polish the floor, I wanna put insulation in the walls, I wanna paint them white, I wanna get some nice lights. Let me know, is that a process that you guys would like to see me vlog? Got a place for my wheels up in here, my snowboards, wakeboards. Another cool thing about this house is there is a whole studio attached to the back. I can make this a music room. I can make this like kind of, I have a hangout room in the garage when you're working on your cars. I can also turn this into a studio and another room to rent out. I don't have to park my cars on the street anymore. I have a garage at my home, at home. I, I can't believe it. I actually asked them when I was in escrow for the property what it would take to raise the ceilings in order to put a lift in here, but I have a shop. I don't I don't need to get too crazy with it. Also, any tips that you guys have in order to make a garage dope, let a girl know. And the last part is this beautiful backyard. I feel like I'm not in LA anymore. I feel like it's quiet here and I can relax and it's beautiful. Check that out. And then that's the entrance to the studio there. Your girl has come a very long way. I can just see it now. We have the fully built twin turbo C8 on the right. 
and we have another build. What would that build be? Would it be the Prius? Eh, we gotta swap something cooler into that. Maybe it's a Lamborghini. Who knows? I'm at a loss for words because I genuinely just don't know what to say, you guys. It feels like home, but it's just, it's not real. It almost feels too good to be true. At the end of the day, I'm always gonna put more money into the business, the business being YouTube, than I am in my own pocket. I mean, I pay Sandy and James, hi Jibs, more money than I put in my own pocket. In a way, I see me purchasing this home as a way where I can diversify my money and Long term, it'll only help me to build to put more money back into the business and doing these crazy, ridiculous builds because that's what I'm passionate about in life. Honestly, there's a lot of things I want to do to this house. I'm probably not going to raise the ceiling to put lifts in here. I have a garage for that. I just want to be able to keep making great content. I don't want to solely have to rely on the AdSense because I always I want to be doing this forever. But I'm just trying to be totally open and transparent with you guys that. This is a huge investment for me, and I'm really excited to be making it. It doesn't feel real to me. I think this is just the next step, and I think it'll be good for my sanity to get out of that apartment by the freeway and just have some serenity and quiet. I hear birds chirping here, it's crazy. <laughs> for those of you guys who have watched every single episode since the beginning, you've seen the growth, you, you've seen all of it. I hope you can see and realize that it's possible for you too without trying to sound cheesy, without trying to sell you some motivational book. I believe if you work hard enough for anything, then it will come, it may not come tomorrow. It may take so much longer than everyone else and you're never too old to do something you want to do. I don't care what people say and just go after it. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do in life. I said earlier and I'll say it again, I'd rather fail knowing I was trying to pursue a dream than fail by not pursuing it. The house when I bought it was kind of a free thing. The previous owners had to move out and they just put a bunch of money into it. So it's, it's actually super nice. It doesn't need a lot of work done. There are a few things that I should probably take care of, but the first thing I want to do is the garage. I want to make the garage very nice. Also, a huge thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's episode, keeping your girl safe, most importantly. So thank you, Simply Safe. I feel a lot more comfortable now being able to film the house and also film the garage. I mean, more space means more builds. Am I right or am I right? I just want to thank you sincerely from the bottom of my heart for watching. I mean that every time, and I will continue to mean that. Ikru, the family is strong. And your girl bought a first home. You crew, we out here with love. Bye. <laughs>it's funny because i have been threatened eviction for working on any of my cars in this spot